Among the mandibular nerve blocks, the most important one is the infralvular nerve block. With this nerve block, not only can you perform extraction, but also minor oral surgery on the entire mandible. The nerves anesthetized are the infralvular nerve, the incisive, the mental and the lingual nerve block which is considered as a separate nerve block is given in conjunction along with the procedure of this nerve. The areas anesthetized are the mandibular teeth till the midline, the body of the mandible, the buccal mucoperiosteum that is the buccal mucoperiosteum, the anterior to that of the tongue, the floor of the oral cavity, the lingual soft tissues and the adjoining gingiva. The anatomic landmarks for this are the mucobuccal fold, the anterior border of the ramus of the mandible which runs down as the external oblique ridge and the deepest point on this is called the coronoid notch, the internal oblique ridge, the retromolar trigon, the tergomandibular ligament, the buccal sucking pad and the tergomandibular space. In order of palpation, if the landmarks have to be understood, it is the mucobuccal fold. The anterior border of the ramus of the mandible can be palpated this way in the patient and if you see on the skull, this is the anterior border of the ramus of the mandible and the deepest portion is called the coronoid notch. The external oblique ridge, the internal oblique ridge. the retromolar trigon in the patient and this is the area of the retromolar trigon. Tergomandibular ligament can be palpated, the buccal sucking pad, the tergomandibular space which is actually the space where your needle should enter to inject the solution. Now let us look at the technique of injection. The head should be positioned such that the body of the mandible is parallel to the floor. The operator stands to the right side of the patient with the left index finger or the thumb that palpates the mucobuccal fold. During this time, the index finger should go behind and hold the posterior surface of the ramus of the mandible. This gives us an idea of the flare of the mandible and the width of the mandible because the, the foramen is located somewhere in between this width and the flare directs and helps us with the needle insertion. The finger or the thumb then contacts the ramus of the mandible. It is moved up and down until the greatest depth of the anterior border of the ramus is identified. Here if you can notice the coronoid notch is in direct line with the mandibular sulcus or the mandibular lingula on the inside. So, now the palpating finger is moved lingually across the retromolar trigon onto the internal oblique ridge and moved laterally still holding on at the level of the coronoid notch. Here the finger is still in line with the coronoid notch and is in contact with the internal oblique ridge. It is moved to the buccal side raking with it the buccal sucking pad. This gives a better exposure to the internal oblique ridge, the tergomandibular raphe and the depression. When palpating the intraoral landmarks, the index finger is present extraorally as mentioned before and the thumb intraorally assesses the anterior posterior width of the ramus. The needle is then inserted parallel to the occlusal plane of the mandibular teeth from the opposite side of the mouth at a level bisecting the finger, penetrating the tissues of the tergomandibular depression, entering the tergomandibular space. The patient is asked to keep the mouth wide open. So, if you can see again, here is your thumb and if an imaginary line is drawn from the middle of the thumb, your needle is bisecting that imaginary line and reaching the mandibular lingula behind which the vessel is present. Here make sure you aspirate in two different directions before depositing the solution. 
once around 1.8 ml of local anesthesia is deposited, the needle is withdrawn very slowly about 0 0.5 millimeters. Now as you can observe here, the lingual nerve is present anterior and medial to the infraalveolar nerve. Therefore, while withdrawing, you have to deposit another 0 0.5 ml of solution which will help with the anesthesia of the lingual nerve 